What's up, everybody? Justin here from Poorly Reviewed Beer, back with the third and final installment of my Beers of Summer series. Uh, now, on tap today are actually a couple of year-round offerings from their uh, respective breweries, but they are uh, fall into the wheat beer category. So I think there's something that you tend to see uh, tend to see more, or at least see enjoyed more um, in this summertime of year. So let's get to the first beer. It's from Dogfish Head Craft Brewery in Milton, Delaware. It is Namaste White Belgian Style Whip Beer. And there you can get kind of a look at the uh, ingredients they use for this beer. And uh, to that point, uh, the notes on the bottle. Our Belgian Style White Ale brewed with organic, with dried organic orange flesh and peel, fresh cut lemongrass, a bit of coriander peppercorns, and a healthy dose of good karma. 4.8% ABV, 20 IBU. I don't think there's anything. Nope. Obviously a uh, a filtered offering after the uh, the Oberon in my last video, and um, the next offering we'll have later on in this video is an unfiltered option as well. But uh, kind of a, a fair yellow color, lemon yellow almost, maybe a little bit uh, darker, pushing into a gold, just a hair. Uh, very much kind of looking like lemonade as I hold it up to the light and get my big old fingers out of the way. Yeah, I would call it like a lemonade color uh, with some pale yellow highlights around the edges. Uh, the head is almost completely gone. Um, there was maybe, probably barely a finger's worth, not even. When I first poured it, it's essentially completely gone except for uh, the ring around the edge of the glass. In the middle, in the beer itself, it's... Uh, I can see the actual beer that had what's left of it is dissipating quickly. All right, let's try it out. Uh, very much grain forward. Um, yeah, it very much leads off with the grain and, uh, I would say the lemongrass really is, is kind of the next uh, most most notable part of the flavor profile. Quite light, quite light, quite crisp. Uh, the coriander's in there as well. I'm not getting much of the uh, the orange. I don't know if there's something about the uh, the processing using the dried the dried orange versus um, other fresh all well, the spices they used I guess were um, were probably more fresh spices used. But yeah, um, good just a good amount of beer grains and then. Um, the coriander, maybe just a hint of pepper. I'm really not getting much of the, the orange at all. Maybe just a, a little bit of that. Uh, it is a Belgian style, so maybe I'm getting a little bit of uh, like a Belgian yeast as well. But it's not, it's not sweet at all like a Belgian style beer. So, no, um, not bad. Um, certainly crisp, as I said, crisp and light for, uh, which is good for summer, but the, the flavor profile, I think is just, um, uh, just okay. Not bad by any means, but I'd like to have a little bit more than just kind of the, the beer grain flavor being the most forward thing. Maybe more, more of the spice, the spice notes are fine. The pepper and the coriander and the, the I like lemongrass. I'm a big fan of uh, Westbrook white tie and that's a. A wheat beer with a that's kind of lemongrass forward, so I have no problem with the the spice profile used, but I just like to see something more than um than beer grains out of this beer. So that's the uh, the dogfish head Namaste White. Let's uh, move on to the next beer. Okay, I have the next beer here, so let's go ahead and check it out from Boulevard Brewing Company in Kansas City, Missouri. 
This is their unfiltered wheat ale. Uh, the notes from the brewery. Let me pull them up. There we go. Boulevard Unfiltered Wheat Beer is a lively, refresh refreshing ale with a natural citrusy flavor and distinctive cloudy appearance. This easy-drinking American-style wheat beer has become our most popular offering and the best-selling craft beer in the Midwest. 4.4% ABV, 14 IBU. Let's give it a pour. All right, as expected, and as they uh, as they said in the preview, unfiltered. And so it is a uh, pretty cloudy. I forgot to swirl up the last bit, unfortunately. So I uh, left a whole lot of the not a whole lot, but a moderate amount of the yeast in the bottom. Unfortunately, did not learn my lesson from the Oberon. <laughs> but um. Yeah, got some of it in there. Uh, but yeah, cloudy, cloudy yellow color. Maybe pushing into a bit of a yellow gold a little bit. Uh, largely holds the same, just a bit of a pale yellow highlight around the edges. And I can see, despite the, the haze, I can see a good, good amount of uh, carbonation shooting up through the glass. And it's holding the maybe... You know, three quarters of a finger to a finger's worth of head. It's holding that pretty well um, with all the carbonation shooting up there. All right, let's check it out. Hmm. Again, a, a fairly mild flavor profile to this beer. Not quite as crisp and clean as the uh, as the the dogfish head, and I would say that's probably not surprising given the uh, given how cloudy it is and so forth. Um, you know, I'm not getting a whole ton to it, to be honest. Again, more beer grain, and I'm kind of just getting the uh, the yeast, a little bit of the yeast from the the bottom of the bottle, but uh, I'm not really getting a whole lot of citrus notes out of it. I'm um, certainly not as much as I was expecting. Maybe a little bit of like an orange rind, and maybe just a a, a very very slight hit, slight hint of uh, lemon fruit or lemon flesh. But it's um it's relatively plain to be honest. It's not not undrinkable, and there's not really anything bad about it. But to me, there's nothing nothing really setting it apart. I'm getting drinking a little more, and I'm getting maybe again a little bit more uh, of a lemon note throughout. But I don't know. Nothing jumping out and screaming at me, and certainly nothing uh, that makes me say, "Hey, this is this is an outstanding beer. I need to have this again, or I need I need to seek this out." And you know, normally, uh, normally Boulevard puts out good stuff, but this is just a little bit uh, flat. Is probably the best word, frankly. Again, not flat in a carbonation sense, but flat in a flavor sense, flatter or plain. So, um. Yeah. Again, I'm maybe I'm halfway through it. I'm maybe getting a little bit of a of a spice note now as well. Like maybe maybe some um some coriander, maybe some allspice type things, but I'm just not getting a ton out of it. So um unfortunately that's uh that's the, the Boulevard unfiltered wheat beer. And that's it for this edition of uh, Poorly Reviewed Beer. You can find all my reviews, both video and written, along with news, commentary, and more, at poorlyreviewedbeer.com. 
Also, check out PRB on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and Untapped. You'll find those links in the description below. And if you're so inclined, please like this video and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. I'll see you around at Poorly Reviewed Beer.